Hello, Caleb's Aquatics viewer. Welcome back to another video, baby! In today's video, we are talking about my lighting unit thingy bob um, for this whole racking system behind me. So if you have a huge rack where you want to have a light, or if you just want a simple, cheap, 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 cheap light for your aquarium or something like that, stay tuned. This is the video for you, but well, no more time to waste. Let's get into it, baby! Is if you've not checked out my whole aquarium stand video, that's in like, I think it's that one or that one. I don't know. Either I cord. Um, go check out the huge stand of how I things work. That's going to make sense if you watch that video first. So check out on the I card, like I said. This is a 20 feet span of aquarium rack where I'm going to have 20 feet of aquariums. So when I want lights, I want lights that are all the same spectrum, all the same Calvin, all of the same look. So I don't want one plastic lid over here. I don't want one thing over here. I don't want one. I just want one of everything to match the whole racking system. So when I did that, I didn't want to go with aquarium route. So like aquarium, different type of aquarium lights and stuff like that. I wanted to go the shop light vac, vac, vac really. I wanted to go the shop vac way. Or shop, why? A shop vac's a vacuum. I wanted to go the shop light way. So what I did is these are my aquarium lights that I've been using on here. They're very quite simple. They're all the exact same. They have, they're pretty nice because they also have a, you can plug another light into the other end and you can have a continuous chain. I believe you can have up to five continuously chained. Um, so that's nice. So you only have one plug. You don't need 150 plugs for each light. Uh, by the way, these lights I picked up, this is too brand new in the box that I'm not opened. These are all purchased from Menards. I don't know about you guys, but I, my only, like my only, um, do you want to call it a hardware store? Is Menards. I don't have Home Depot stuff like that. So Home Depot, I mean, not Home Depot. Menards is where I purchased all of these lights. To run some numbers here, each light costs you $25. So some of these go on sale for about 20 bucks sometimes. Um, you can see here, this is the Calvin Spectrum, the 4000K, a little bit of the white, bright kind of thing. It's more sales gimmicks, 40 watts, stuff like that. Quite simple. 4,000 long lasting, connect multiple units, blah, blah, blah. This is by Smart Electrician. No clue what that brand is, but it's just a brand. I don't know. So there is a couple different ways of mounting. If this is just going on your home aquarium where you don't really care about the lights, you just want a cheap, affordable light, this is a great light. You know what, actually, before I keep blabbing, let's plug in this light over here. There we go, baby. Got the lights plugged in. Now you can see a little bit better of the tanks itself. There's a couple different ways of mounting wise. There is a couple ways. First thing off, you can see these come with these chains. These chains and a little hook. So you can raise this to the height. If you're doing a racking system like me where you can you have a piece of wood above to screw into, but maybe for example if you just don't have anything above it and you just want to set this on top, you could easily set this on top just like how this is as well. Very quite simple to be completely honest. You can you can chain it, you can screw this up into, so if you maybe don't want a chain and you just want this screwed in there just like that, you can do that as well. Um, they also come with a little pull tab where you can pull it and turn it on and off. Quite simple, very simple lights and they have a plug pretty much. Nothing else more to the lights to be quite honest. Uh, but each box comes with a couple different mounting options for you to mount them. If you're doing like a big aquarium rack like I'm doing, um, you can chain them. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do, by the way. I don't know if I'm going to chain them or if I don't know if I'm going to have them sit on top. I just don't want to be moving this every time I want to get inside. I just I got to move it. I don't really want to deal with that. By the way, if you're watching this video, I'll sneak peek onto lids coming. More lids coming soon. So if you saw the video, you got a sneak peek on probably one of my next videos. I'm not 100% sure. Actually, you know, my next video is probably going to be an unboxing. So if you guys want to see that, make sure you hit the like button. And that video will be coming out, I think, Thursday. No guarantees, though. So as you can see, I have these 55s below. And these also have lights. I believe I have four right now. I have four and I have two more here. So I have $150 in lights and I'm not even halfway done. I've honestly just been buying them, going to, going to Menards whenever I, whenever I pretty much go. Pick up a couple lights there, there, um, just so it's not a huge $350 big old purchase of lights. Kind of go off on, buy some. Um, to be quite honest, I'm probably just going to go buy all the rest of them probably pretty soon just to finish it off. Uh, but you can see I was trying out lights over here as well, things like that. So these lights to me are probably the best choice for my, my personal, what, I, what I'm going to do. For example, this is a canopy that I still need to paint. Underneath here, this has 
Um, shop lights. These are all LED lights. By the way, these are all LED. All pretty nice. A couple problems. We kind of got to the positives, but a couple negatives. A couple of negatives here is you got so much extra wire if you're going to chain them directly. If you're going to hang one light on the ceiling here, one all the way over here, then they need that extra cord um, to expand longer. But if you're chaining them all together, you're going to have a lot more extra footage of rope. Or kind of not rope, but like... Um, cord, so you're gonna have to figure out something to do with all this. Probably ravel it up or something. Not a not a biggest deal, but it still is another kind of negative part of it. Um, it'd be nice if you can make it smaller or something. But if we cut it, then it's not waterproof. Water gets inside of it, then you're kind of done for. All right. So one more quick thing about here is what I'm gonna do with all of these things. If you don't need these, like little pullers, you can. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end up you probably unscrewing this whole thing. Or quite honestly, just cutting it off like right about here, just because I don't need it. I don't need all this extra line. I'm gonna cut it. Uh, it might be nice if I want one light off for like quarantine. Maybe if I have a quarantine tank set up going on, maybe I'll turn the lights off for the ones that are not ready for sale for fish. I don't exactly know. By the way, you see an update. Pretty dang clear to be quite honest. I still have some more junk, uh, but we'll kind of turn this into an update as well. But to be quite honest, that's really about it. The lights. They're very simple. They're. I don't know if they're cheap. But yeah, I think what you get, what you pay for, they're all stainless steel, if I'm not wrong. Nice metal top. Really, to be quite honest, a quite simple video because these things, I like these things. I like their color spectrum. Um, actually, let me run over here and turn off the lights and see what you guys think about with the lights off. All right, I have lights on my face, so let me turn this bad boy off. Come on, baby. There we go. Lights off my face. So now it's just literally the only thing in the whole room are these lights. So you can see... They really do look pretty nice. I mean, they're nice color. They're, I mean, it would be nice maybe get a little bit more blue. Not a huge deal, but nice color spectrum. 4,000, they call it 4,000K or, you know, whatever. Uh, let me turn these lights back on. And let me turn on my little light so it makes me bright. Yeah, baby. But, yeah, so to be quite honest, that's really all about that I can say about these. They're very nice, cheap. I literally like how they're, they can chain link. There probably is better, cheaper options, to be quite honest. Um, if you guys have any other cheaper options, let me know in the comment section below. Um, any other things you want to add to this? Maybe you have a different idea of things like that. Leave them down in the comment section below. But to be quite honest, that's about it for this video. Um, you're going to see more videos coming up along about how I made tops. I still have a lot more to make. Got more boards, stuff like that. So you're going to see new more videos like that. Just a quick update, just a quick add-on thing here. Everything's looking good. You can see all the product wall behind me. You can see I still have a random aquarium there. Still have to paint this tripod, random junk. Most of this is all clean. I have this garbage can that needs to get filled with water again. By the way, don't ban me, YouTube. This is not yeah, it's not real. Okay, people, I don't know what I'm cutting out because I don't want to get like copyrighted or YouTube to hate me. I don't know. Just another quick update. 125 is looking good. What's new, guys? Camera battery died. We're back at you with a new camera battery. God dang it, man. But I was, I just replayed the footage because I was going to see where I was. I was over here somewhere. I don't know exactly, no. Pretty much looks good. I have some egg crate to get rid of. Uh, not get rid of, but cut up for stuff like that. I still have so like a spinny table. This thing goes on the other side. Sold this 55. I still need to get another wood panel here. But that's really just a quick update. A nice video. This will be coming out tomorrow. This is Monday. Um, I have a fish order coming out tomorrow, which the video will be uploaded on. By the way, we're coming strong. I, this little video is kind of not planned out as well. I try to have my videos planned out a little bit better. Quite honest, guys, we're making improvements. That's why I'm uploading every Tuesday and Thursday, guys. So sometimes, I can't even lie, I don't want to upload. I just don't have any motivation. So make sure you leave a nice comment, and I will make more videos out for you guys. Uh, another thing, that's really about it, guys. Unboxing video coming Thursday. If you want to see other things, um, I got a whole new system. My last unboxing video didn't come out how I liked it. Maybe you guys liked it. Let me know about what you guys thought about that on the last unboxing video. But other than that, that's about it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video about the lights. Quite simple, by the way. I'll also leave a link in the description if you want to go buy the same exact light for yourself. You know, I've been in this trend of flipping my camera and going like this and flipping it. One last time for you, baby. That's about it. Make sure you like, subscribe, all those good things. And, and, and like and subscribe and share. Truly all I got for you, but now for the influence flip trick. Oh baby, yeah baby. I hopefully you enjoyed that flip. I don't know what I'm doing here. That's about it, guys. Peace. Out, baby. Yeah.